Hi, I'm Astarte, and I wanted to do another little video update this week on Ascension Symptoms. And I wanted to add a little bonus every week, and I wanted to just give people a little emergency preparedness tip. Since I've lived through many natural disasters, there are things that you don't think of until you've actually experienced it. And the tip I want to give you this week is when you do not have electricity for several weeks, your home phone line will work if you have a corded phone, a styline type phone that plugs into the wall and not a wireless phone. A wireless phone will not work because it needs electricity. So that's something you really don't think about until you have that experience. So it's important to have a backup corded phone around in case you are uh, without electricity for a long period of time so that you will be able to contact your friends and your family and let them know you're okay and um, you know whatever phone calls you need to make. Okay, so I hope that helps and some of the ascension symptoms that have been happening this week are continued ear pressures and that is us adjusting to the different fields of energy that are coming into the planet right now. We're seeing a lot of body aches and especially shoulder pain. If you watched last week, we are actually working on opening up two new energy centers in our shoulder areas right around uh, our, our shoulder joints coming out this way and in the back. So um, you may be feeling some shoulder discomfort. We're also getting two new chakras in our hip joints. So we're having continued low back pain that's associated to that and which is also tied into fear of finances or worrying about finances and there's a lot of that going around right now. <laughs> and um, you may have some strange sensations in your hip area and this is just your, your body adjusting to these things. We're having a lot of belts of fatigue as we're processing this energy coming in, it takes a lot of energy on a physical level and uh, you're going to find that you're going to want to eat more when you're processing this energy as it comes in waves. So we're finding we're having days where we just don't feel full. You're eating constantly and that's when you're processing that energy and the fatigue is going along with that and then all of a sudden you'll have a few days where you really aren't hungry at all. There's also a lot of heel and foot pain as we're trying to anchor in this energy. Um, so, yeah, it's all about grounding, grounding um, through your feet. We're seeing a lot of blue flashes and silver flashes, and those are energies that are coming in to guide us. And if you're also having some ear ringing, that is actually light beings and light orbs, which are light beings that are coming from other dimensions and assisting us and guiding us through these times. Now, um, when you hear that ringing and pressure in your ears, just take a moment to uh, look at what's happening at that very moment in your life what's going on, what are you feeling, and most importantly what they've been teaching me is what are you thinking, what are your thoughts, because your thoughts are as important as your actions because they come before the action, and um, what's happening is anytime I'm starting to feel a little stressed out for any reason and feeling a little anxiety of some sort, they come. That's the moment that they're coming and they're teaching me to breathe and relax and reconnect to that source. And uh, that having these anxiety-filled thoughts are not helping in any way. So that's what they're... Uh, showing me right now. We're also seeing 
silver rays of light, horizontal rays, like shooting across the sky. I'm seeing that when I'm sun gazing. And um, also one day I was outside and I actually saw purple light, like God had taken a huge purple light bulb in the sky and everything was like this violet purple light. So you may be seeing it or feeling it or hearing these energies coming in in different ways. And um, one issue that's coming up, we're still finding that we need to do a lot of clearing. Clearing, clearing, and more clearing. There's an eclipse with the full moon tomorrow. Eclipses are always about clearing because you're eclipsing out of your life things that you don't need. And the big one for humanity that's coming up right now is unity consciousness. The reason we do these alerts is because we're all going through this together and we're all connected. And when you connect to other people, you realize that the things you're feeling and experiencing, you are not the only one. There are other people experiencing it. And sooner or later you realize we are all doing this together. We are connected. And there's a lot going on right now in the United States, in the state of Arizona. There's uh, this thing going on where uh, they want, the law wants to be able to stop anybody that looks like they might be an illegal alien and ask them for their papers. And uh, people are outraged because it's racial profiling. And really what it's about is it's not unity thinking. We are all people. How many thousands of years is it going to take us to realize that you, the color of your skin doesn't matter anymore? So we're seeing a lot of that coming up because it needs to be cleared. There's a lot of, um, there was some stuff going on in New Mexico with uh, Val Kilmer, an actor that lives here, and there was a big town meeting because he wanted to be able to rent out his guest houses and make it like a bed and breakfast at his ranch. And um, he really loves it in New Mexico. And there were some people that have lived here all their lives who basically called him a gringo and stated that, oh yeah, well, you know, we've treated you gringos pretty well. Well, um... I don't even know if that's politically correct anymore, but my husband is Hispanic, so I know that gringo isn't really a derogatory term, but it's not really a nice one either. Um, so there is some negativity attached to that. So you're seeing this, especially in the Southwest here, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place um, with the natives. Um, the old tapes that are playing for hundreds of years, uh, none of us are really around for that. And uh, basically it needs to be cleared out and we need to realize that we're all one. It doesn't matter if, if we're white or native or black or... It's just the same old story, but it, it just seems like we're not really getting it. But we really need to get it now because the t the clock is ticking and time is running out and time is speeding up and uh, we're seeing that it's amazing um, the days are uh, going by like it feels like three hours and twelve hours later so uh, just keep up your frequency hopefully we'll have a start to end in Nana next week and um, peace and love to you all. And until next week, bye.